Welcome to our first instalment of Skate Hut's workshop. I'm Amy and we'll be discussing today about how to remove scooter wheel bearings and putting them back in. So to remove your scooter wheel bearing, first you'll need a hammer or a mallet, um, something to put your wheel on top of. I've got some duct tape because of the hole in the middle, you can hammer through there. You'll obviously need your wheel. You need a 10 pence piece or a two pence piece or anything that's metal, that's cylindrical and strong. And then an Allen key. I've got one with a little bit of plastic on the end because I can hammer that and it gives me a bit more uh, leverage on the bearing. Okay, so first of all, you'll need to put your wheel on top of the tape. There's a wheel spacer inside there. You want to make sure that's at an angle. So this is at an angle already, um, but that's basically what you want to achieve. So I've achieved that by putting the Allen key in there and just angling it slightly to move that out of the way. So when you put it in, you should be able to push down and not be able to push all the way through. That means that you've got the lip of the bearing there. So you want to be really strong. Now I need to add the safety first obviously if you're a child probably best not to be using hammers or stuff by yourself so get a parent to do it just you want to be really careful of your thumbs and things because you'll be hammering away you don't want to end up in a and e okay so we don't need the 10 pence piece at the moment you just want to get your hammer hold it at the top you don't need to be absolutely walloping it and just tap keep checking it's slowly coming out there but you'll need to hammer away like this. Yes. Woo! It is out. So I've got it out. Sometimes, if your bearing's really old, um, it will actually explode. So all of this casing will come off. All the little ball bearings will fall everywhere. So make sure maybe you do this outside or something. And then sometimes the worst case scenario, scenario um, this actual metal casing will stay inside here. So if you're coming to put your bearing in and you're like, oh, it doesn't fit back in. It's probably because the bearing case is still inside the wheel. You're going to have to get maybe a um, flathead screwdriver. Pop that in there. Hammer it out. You've got to be really careful because you don't want to damage the inside of your wheel. This is where I say that you, I mean, kids, I would suggest trying not to do it because then you're going to have to spend 20, 30 quid on a brand new wheel because the bearing won't go back in. But this is the only way to get them out. And then you want to put your Allen key on this side. And hammer it back out. It's all out. Then you want to bring in your 10p. I'm just going to use the same bearings. Obviously, you'll have new ones, um, but you want to pop your first one on there really snug. You don't want it at any angle or anything. Pop your coin on there or whatever you're using and gently tap. The reason why I'm putting this on top is because you don't want to be banging on this seal. If you dent that seal in any way, all of the ball bearings are going to get stuck on here. It's going to sound really gritty and it's not going to work properly. You can fix that if you've got a removable cap. So you can pop that out, uh, re-flatten it, stick it back in. But that, this just avoids that happening. Try and hammer it evenly. If you can see it going up on one side, hammer over the other side. And then pop your wheel spacer back in. If you've done what I've done here and just made a little mark inside, get maybe a file if your parents, if your, your, well, your parents are supposed to be doing this anyway. <laughs> file the inside, or you can get a new one of these online for like, like 20p. Pop that inside there. Make sure it's not on an angle or anything because as soon as you put that other bearing in, if that's gone at an angle, it's going to be really annoying to try and push that back around. So pop your bearing in on top. Just double check that space is still. And 
And there you go. That's how you remove a scoot wheel bearing and put one back in. I hope that's been really helpful. Like, comment, subscribe. Any of the questions or answers you want from the workshop, please just comment below. I've been Amy from Skate Hut. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>